You ask, I deliver. On this episode of Oddly Specific, can you make a tutorial for a spring light animation? What? I understand it now. Let's make this spring animation by H0278. First, create a circle. Remove the fill. Add a stroke. I'll be using 30, but just do whatever you want, it doesn't really matter that much. Add a drawing progress effect. Tap on end until it turns green, and then add two keyframes this way. One, two. On the first keyframe, make sure the line thingy hits the keyframe till it lights up like this. Scroll until it reaches zero. And then on the second keyframe, just leave it as it is at 100. Tap on the graph button and do this exactly like this. And ta-da! Okay, that's that one. Now add a square shape. Make sure it's bigger than the circle. Now mask it by holding on both the square and circle layer until it turns green. And then tap on this button. This will help you mask the layer. Make sure the square is above the circle, otherwise it looks like this, and it's just wrong. Now. On the newly grouped layer, add a flip layer effect, angle 75, and axis 90. And as you can see, it looks pretty good, looks pretty good. Now, extend the layer by dragging. Now duplicate the layer, and scale it down just a little bit. And do this two more times or more, up to you. And then you tap on the second circle, move and transform, and add two keyframes and place them apart like this. On the first keyframe, just leave it as it is. On the second keyframe, move it down below its previous circle. Use this graph and copy it. Go to the keyframes and mark them this way. So it's easier for you to animate the other circles. And now, do the same for the rest of the circle. Just go to the mark, add your keyframes, move it and paste your graph. Okay, now you have the spring animation going down, but you want it to go up after, so what do you do? Go to your layer, pick the bottom one first. Remember your box, add one keyframe in the middle, in between the two marks like this and then add another keyframe somewhere over here and then on the second keyframe move up the circle like this and then paste your graph just now the smallest circle is at the bottom and the biggest one at the top right now we want to make the smallest circle at the top and the biggest circle at the bottom giving the illusion of a spring
questions you may ask. How do I make the spring go faster? Just put the keyframes closer to each other. Subscribe!